Hi everyone, it's me Deborah here again on Hades Lady. Today I want to talk about the first 10 of the perilous foes you'll face in Tartarus within the underworld of Hades. I find it interesting how the perilous foes of Hades parallel with things we see or hear of that people do out in the real world. These foes are, yeah, they're a little creepy and overcoming them in a game can be both empowering and therapeutic. At least that's what I've experienced in some of my gameplay. See, I've faced some of these foes in real life and over the years I've had to learn to overcome the marks that they left on my life. Facing these perilous foes in Hades has become kind of uh, at times like a safer form of <laughs> exposure therapy. You lived through all that. Now, we all face circumstances and situations in life that we learn to deal with. And for me, playing Hades is one of the more helpful coping skills that I've learned. Even at this later stage in my life, I am so glad that I found this game Supergiant created. For sure, Hades has become a tool that I use to deal with certain kinds of stress and occasions when I find myself grappling with the things that produce false evidence appearing real or when I just want to have a little fun and enjoy the animated experience and the story within the game, which is awesome. Uh, maybe you can relate to some of that, so I'll just really, I'll just leave that right there. Now, let's get a quick look at the first 10 perilous foes that are found in the Chambers of Tartarus. A Tartarus is thought to be one of the deepest parts of Hades, just to give you a little background here, um, where the gods imprison their enemies, including the scattered body parts and the blood of the Titans. A Tartarus is also known as one of the personified elements of the world or cosmos, along with the earth itself, which is probably why I found my encounters with the perilous foes so interesting. I think they're like meant to jar our thoughts, sort of like a parable would. If you read the descriptions, they kind of, you know, have that effect. Well, at least they did on me anyway. So Tartarus is the first of, of the lowest levels of Hades you'll find yourself in once you exit the actual courtyard adjacent to Zagreus's bedchamber, which you'll see on your second escape attempt. Now, the initial, this initial chamber that you land in from the courtyard is where you'll meet the first of a variety of foes that are employed by Hades to secure the underworld and prevent the escape of anyone, whether a shade, a foe, prisoner, a resident, or some other type of power. You'll have to face these perilous foes and overcome them by any means necessary and available to you before you can proceed to the next chamber. However, on the first escape attempt, there are only shades in this area. So this is the first of only two free passes that you'll get in this game. If you're a big fan of the game, you already know when and where you'll get your second free pass. And I'll just leave that there for you too. So every escape after this first one, you'll meet one or more of the perilous foes that are either called wretched somethings or some other descriptive, which you'll you'll read about here in a minute. So you can and you can pause the video and read uh, about each one of the foes for yourself, so you can take it all in at your own pace. So the first five of the perilous foes are wretched. You'll meet the wretched thugs, the wretched witches, the wretched louts the wretched pests, and the wretched sneak. There might not be a particular order you'll meet these foes in, but you will for sure meet them all at some point in one or more of the chambers leading out of Tartarus. The next five are the numbskulls, and then the skull mats that continuously produce the numbskulls. So unless you get rid of the skull mats when they appear, the numbskulls will just keep coming out of that pile of what looked like our uh, skull heads. Kind of trippy looking. Anyways, next are the ringers. And then the brimstones. And finally, the doomstone. 
Now, all of the information about every non-player character, every foe you'll meet, every notable shade, all the gods within Hades called Kathanic gods, and all the gods of Olympus are found in the codex you are given by Achilles. You'll get the hang of it out there, lad. For all our sparring practice, there's no teacher like the real thing. Now then, I have something for you. What, wait, you're giving me your codex? I can't accept something like this. Please, I insist. I want your love of history to grow, not just your love of warfare. Besides, maybe you can finish out the rest of it. You'll also learn about the boons, all the fish. Yes, I said fish. There is fishing in Hades, which is awesome. I love that. So anytime I get a chance to uh, do a little fishing in Hades, I stop and do it. Um, you'll also learn about the different regions of the underworld and a few fabled Chthonic companions that you might be given by those who you become close to. Now, I found the keys to Hades is to talk to everyone to build healthy relationships, to trust your mates, as Zachary, Zagreus calls them, um, and to be generous with what you can actually give away. Now, I hope you enjoy this quick look at the 10 perilous foes of Tartarus. Next, we'll look at the perilous foes of Asphodel, then those of Elysium, and then those found in the Temple of Styx. So be on the lookout for the entire playlists containing videos on all the contents within the codex to, uh, that you get from Achilles. Uh, that'll be coming out soon. I, I hope you uh, are enjoying your journey through Hades here on my channel, Hades Lady. Uh, if you like certain parts or all of this video, remember to hit the like and uh, subscribe icon if you haven't done so already. Click on that bell and you'll be notified uh, each time I upload a new set of videos. Uh, where here it's all about everything I found in this video game by Supergiant called Hades. Now, I look forward to reading and responding to all of your comments. I really appreciate them. And um, so with that, I want to say have a great week and bye for now. Few tales are told of Hades, whose very name inspires fear and penitence reminding us of the inevitable fate which we all share. I, however, mean to tell you such a tale. Listen carefully. Goodbye, Father. To hell with this place. <laughs>